What is your name? Welcome to my channel. My name is Tanya. If you're new here, so you guys liked my last week at home workout, so I thought I would keep rolling with this if these are helpful for you guys. So make sure to hit that like button and let me know. Please subscribe. This is going to be an everybody workout for sure. I'm going to go through beginner tips and tricks. I realize that sometimes I go a little bit too crazy, um, so we'll kind of relax it today and. I'll focus more on tips and wrong form and all that good stuff. We are going to do a one dumbbell workout only because most people only have one pair of like random dumbbells. Um, so if you have lighter ones or if you don't have them, you can always grab water bottles, gallon jugs, make sure you duct tape them, um, grab what you have and just use household items. That's going to be fine. It's better than nothing. You know, you got to make do with what you got right now. So. Don't feel like you can't do it if you don't have a pair of dumbbells, you definitely can. And then if your dumbbells are too heavy, then you just wanna go less time. So we're gonna go 45 seconds per exercise, 20 second rest in between, and then you're gonna do four rounds total. So back to back to back for each exercise. Four rounds, set a timer, stay in one area, and let's get this done. Subscribe, let's get in. All right, so again, we're gonna go four rounds, perform each exercise back to back, 45 seconds, 20 second rest in between. We're gonna start off with a bicep curl to shoulder press. Again, if you need to, use water bottles or anything you have, but make sure to take your time, really think about what you're doing, and make sure you're squeezing your biceps the entire time coming up, straight up overhead, and back down. So rotating those shoulders. So I want to show you guys the side view. Look how I'm sitting back into my hips a little bit. My core is nice and tight. You don't want to pull your hips forward like this. You're going to put way too much pressure on your back that could hurt. Also, you're, you're cheating, so just don't do that. So nice and controlled, squeezing the bicep the entire time and sitting back into your hips, core nice and tight. Again, do not bring your hips forward or swing the weights as you're coming up. That means you probably need to go down if you cannot do nice and controlled reps. So. This is what it should look like the entire time. The only thing that's moving is my elbows up and down and I'm squeezing my biceps nice and slowly. So we're working on that brachialis. You're working on your long head and then your short head all for your biceps. For the second part of the movement, for that shoulder press, we're gonna work those shoulders. You're gonna get lateral delt, anterior delt, pec major, your triceps. So build in some bolda shoulders. If you cannot make it for the full 45, remember you can always switch down to water bottles after that point. So if it's too heavy after I do a few reps and I need to drop it down, I can totally do that by grabbing some water bottles. So at least it's a little bit more weight than just body weight. All right, so for our next exercise, we're gonna do another shoulders because shoulders are my favorite. So we are going to be doing a front raise and side raise together, so shoulder tease. So you're bringing it out to 90 degrees, bring it forward and straight down. So nice and slow, shoulder blades back, core nice and tight. Again, you're not leaning into your hips too much. So for muscles, works here for the anterior delt, lateral delt, these are gonna be for your side raises. And then for the front raises, you're gonna be hitting that pectoralis major, anterior delt, and lateral delt. So both great shoulder movements. Make sure you're going nice and slow. So when it gets too heavy, then I automatically switch because these are going to be a harder exercise. So don't feel bad about switching down to a lighter weight if you have lighter dumbbells or a pair of water bottles. In terms of form here, I wanted to show you certain people will roll their shoulders forward make sure that you are rolling them back. So you don't want a lazy rep like this. Make sure you push your chest nice and high. There you go, and straight out. Same thing with forward, so do not shrug. If the shoulders are too much for you, the shoulder tease, then you can separate it out and just do laterals and then do the front raises separately. So completely up to you in terms of where you're at if you need to just separate the movements out. Same thing with the first exercise. I initially came out here to like show you guys how to use the water bottles and I was like, I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> um, All right, let's get into some legs. So we're gonna hit glutes and adductors through here. So 
feet turned out, we're going sumo squats. Make sure your knees, that is the biggest thing I see when people are doing these, make sure you're pushing your knees out as well. Your knees should be in line with your feet. They should not be caving in or else you should probably drop the weight down and keeping that chest nice and high. So if you're doing it with dumbbells, you wanna make sure you're not leaning too far forward. So I will generally switch up my position because this creates me to lean a little bit further than I would like and not be able to keep my chest nice and high. So I would rather hold my dumbbells up here and that way I can keep my chest nice and high and not leaning over too far, really engaging my glutes. You should feel this through that inner thigh. Make sure you're pressing through those heels, but however you need to carry the weights, that's totally fine. I just choose that. I think that this is the best in terms of keeping the correct form. Notice how my knees aren't caving in at all. I'm going straight out. All right, so in terms of what we're working here, so the wider my stance is, the more I'm hitting inner thigh. Same thing if you're on a leg press, the wider you go, that more inner muscles is you're gonna work. If I didn't care about hitting my inner thigh, then I would bring my foot in and just do a normal squat and put more emphasis on other muscles. So your positioning in terms of like your knees and toes really determine on what muscles you want to hit. So I wanted to show you guys here, make sure you're keeping your body in a straight line and you're not trying to bend your back and stick your butt as far out as possible. That is not the point of this particular exercise in terms of squats. You can also do these with no weight if needed. Moving on to the next exercise. So we are going to hit glutes for these last two. So we're gonna do glute kickbacks. You can obviously use no weight if you have enough, you know, if it's a little bit too much. So you're going to place that weight, make sure you place it into the curl of your knee. You're gonna have your toes flexed up towards your shins. So make sure you're leading with that heel. You want your back nice and flat. We're coming back to perfectly extend just to where I can squeeze my glute. So you're not using your back. We're gonna focus on glutes, hamstrings, and abductors here. So great workout in terms of hitting glutes with a lower weight. So here I'm showing you if I'm lifting up too high, I'm using my back and I have my head down. So you wanna make sure you have your head neutral and you're only kicking to where you can get a good squeeze in or else you are going to bring in your back, which is going to make it so that you're not using your glutes as much. So just get it high enough to have a nice little squeeze. And we're gonna do 45 seconds here on each side. I just wanna show you guys, here is how I would do it with no weight, still emphasizing that squeeze, leading with my heel. You also wanna make sure in this position that you're never rolling out. So you're not twisting your hips at all. Think straight back. Everything is aligned, so my knees are underneath my hips. My hands are underneath my shoulders. So make sure you don't rotate out. You're just focusing on that glute squeeze as best as you can. So hold it a little bit longer if you need to and make sure you're not extending into that back. All right, so we made it to the last exercise. So we're gonna do single leg glute bridges here. Make sure you have that foot nice and close in. You don't want it too far out. There's a lot of bugs today. Apparently they are not staying at home. Um, so <laughs> we're going to make sure you're pressing through that heel, squeezing that glute as you come up as hard as you can. Nice and slow, hips up as high as you can, core nice and tight. Make sure you have the other foot lifting up. So here we're gonna be working hamstrings, glutes, and as well as your core. So it's a great overall exercise. I'm just having the weight rest right on my hips. You can obviously take the weight out or we could do normal bridges as well. So for the normal bridges, you're just gonna have both feet down, always pressing through that heel. Squeezing that glute, make sure that you are focusing on that squeeze, pressing through the heels, bringing those hips up as high as possible. You could even lose the weight if you need to. So another thing you can do is, like say you have a pair of like heavier dumbbells, like my lightest pair is 10, so if I need to drop down, I'll just grab, then I'll grab something like the water bottles and use it as like a drop set to have lighter weight, even though this is too easy for me in the beginning. So you can always use them to switch it up to make it a little bit easier so you can finish the rest of your time for that exercise. All right guys, so that is the end of the workout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I have a really fun time filming these, so if you wanna see more, I can definitely do that. Let me know what body parts you wanna work, 
what equipment you guys have at home, what level you are. Just, you know, talk to me in the comments and let me know what exactly would be useful for you guys to see or what you don't see enough. Um, so yeah, that is it. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you're doing okay, taking care of yourselves. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Definitely gotta work the flame. Like, I need these workouts too. I'm like, I feel like I'm browsing the pantry every hour, and like that's my excitement time where I'm just like, ooh, do we still have that? Like. <laughs>